Hey everybody, One Empire here. Now today, I've got the first video that I've made of this kind ever. Just kind of experimenting with the Xbox recorder and doing voiceover. As the title suggested, this is a demonstration of playing Jack on a level 11 or so. Grab this uh, fabricator and help him out. And playing with some pretty good dudes. I don't know them, but this is the most difficult level of Horde Frenzy, I believe. And as you can see right away, they're they're grabbing stuff. I went ahead and picked up a weapons locker because Jack can buy those. He can also buy a forge. So I'm scooting around, kind of looking and seeing what I can pick up, if anything helpful. That's the boost mode. It would be the equivalent of roadie, run roadie running as a normal player and you can see these guys are just building up these spikes left and right even though we didn't have a ton of money I think this team did a pretty good job of putting a pretty good defense for for level one and this might be a nice video for people that are newer to see kind of how these guys are building you can see someone already went down within seconds of their match starting so what I'm doing is just going around helping these guys. People like to move the forge so it's unavailable for some reason in between waves, or during the waves I should say. If you, can, if you know why, comment below and let us know. So, constantly picking, picking them up. You see, I've got an upgraded repair beam, which is really handy for getting downed characters, teammates. And I've got increased health so they, they heal faster and increased range so I can stay further away from the fight. And it's also pretty good for getting bouncing between multiple downed characters, which you'll see a lot in this. Spoiler alert. This video does not go to the end of the game. We made it to about level 4. It's a, I'm li limited to 10 minutes. So, it's part way through wave 2. And we made it two more waves after that. Unfortunately, I can't record for that long. I'll try and get a, a USB 3.0 thumb drive. But you can see, these guys are going down. And I keep getting hit. Because when you heal, your cloaking goes away. And as you upgrade Jack, he gets he gets a lot more useful and a lot more effective. To the point where it would be hard to see anybody getting past halfway through the first point. I got a medal there for reveal, reviving so many people. Which, by the way, if you're on missions or doing any kind of requirements of having re revives, as you'll see, this is one way that you can typically get tons of revives, because on this most difficult, Jack is kind of a key player in keeping the game alive, unless you're playing with some really, really awesome players on a team, people are going to be going down left and right, and I didn't get that guy in time. So I went and picked up his cog tags. I was trying to heal him, but my beam was hitting the, the spike strip for repair. So that's kind of a bummer, but he's back. So let's see what he can do. See, they're starting to rush us there. It's funny because it's just a bunch of DR1s. Or not with it, with a, the... Uh, wow, I'm embarrassing myself. I can't remember what they're called right now. But normally they're pretty easy to take out in the first wave. You can just kind of run out there like Rambo with your shotgun or whatever. And let's see. I mean, you still can, I guess, as Cole do that Cole train, knock him out. But there you have it. There's wave one. I've got only two kills, but 23 revives. And that's why they gave me the most valuable player, MVP because revives are worth a lot when it comes to that apparently so getting this wave started I was trying to pick up some 
some extra weapons and throw them in the forge there. But it's not available because it's too close to the wall, so he moved it. But I went ahead and just started picking up weapons and dropping them off in a pile. They're not worth a lot compared to the bigger ones, but on this particular level, since stuff starts getting more expensive over time, or something along those lines, it it can help. And it, it might even make, make the difference that is needed. So, as soon as the wave starts, someone goes down. That's pretty typical on this, this difficulty, the max difficulty. So, going out there, kind of put myself out there a little bit. Because again, when you revive, watch my cloak goes away. Uh, and he also, if you notice, he kind of drops down into cover or near the ground when he does the revive. So that's kind of a helpful thing. So you're not just floating up in the air like a... An easy target. But so you see what they're doing is kind of splitting up a little bit, especially if there's someone with an explosive. They don't all get downed at once. And I'm still in an area where I can continue to, you know, keep them alive. And if I get a chance, I'll, I'll shock them with my shock beam, because I have that upgraded too and maybe stun them long enough so that someone with a, a better weapon can take them out. Uh, but the thing is, if I'm, if I'm stunning somebody or shocking them, I can't heal anybody. And on lower difficulty levels, or if you've got really good players, you can possibly get away with it. But I don't think that it's something that is, is helpful, is keeping your, your teammates alive. Because you can see it's hardly a few seconds goes by where somebody goes down. See, all three of those guys just got blown up or something. But they're back. So, if you haven't seen this before, hopefully this is some good entertainment. Uh, I've got a few more minutes left, but I'll just let the gameplay go for a little while. And let you guys see what's happening. So I just got downed right there. I was trying to zip around. Luckily I was able to revive a couple guys on the way over there. And so they got me back up. So I can keep them alive. And if you're playing someone that's not Jack, and your Jack character is, is doing a pretty good job, you definitely want to prioritize bringing them, bringing them back. Because they can bring the rest of your teammates way faster than anybody else. Aside from, obviously, who is it? The character with the team revive. But that can't be used very often. So there you go, MVP again. Another 17 revives. So that's almost 40, I think, revives if I had 23 the first time. So, again, if, if you're trying to do that, get, get uh, some kind of special... What... I can't think of what things are called today. But if you need a lot of revives to accomplish something, 40 revives in eight, eight and a half minutes. I don't know about you, but I don't think that's too bad. So you can see Jack can pick up the weapons, if you don't know that, and bring them into the forge. I'm just dropping them off, so it's a little bit quicker. But there's not going to be time to, to drop those in there once the, the level starts. Unfortunately, this video is almost over. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off now and say if this was cool and I wasn't too boring or if I was boring. I want to know how to make videos that you guys actually want to watch. Thanks for checking out this video and my channel. And if you think it's worth doing I might start a separate channel where I just do this kind of video game playing and commentary but like I said like subscribe and uh, maybe ring that bell even one empire so I don't know thanks for watching